of Dion here from Multiverse, and today we're I'm gonna be showing you how to install Windows 1.0 on 86 box. So this is Microsoft Windows 1.0. So let's get started with the installation process. So first, you have to download these two links. So these two links will be in the description. So um, first is MSOS 3.30. So you're gonna need this. So um, you can boot. You can like boot to an operating system and then run the setup exe file so you should, you should download uh, microsoft the first one microsoft ms dos 3.30 the five and a quarter inch 360k drive the 360k inch floppy disk 360k floppy disk now you're also going to need to download the operating system itself windows 1.0 so you go to 1.01 and you scroll that then you're going to see uh you can download this beta if you want. So did you download the Microsoft Windows 1.01 uh, five and a quarter inch 360k drive? So download both of those by clicking on them. I'm a little bit sick today, so I just so I kind of sound weird. So these are the two things you want to download. All right. So now you have to get 86 box, which I'm not going to show you what to how to do right now. But uh, yeah, so you want to set up 86 box, get the files, and then you want to click on uh, run the, you want to run 86 box, go to tools, and then press settings. Now I'll show you the stuff that you need. So set the machine type to 8088, and set generic XT clone. Set the CPU type to 8088. Set the speed to 8. You can set this to a little bit faster if you want, but I'm going to keep it like that. Set the FPU to 8087, enabled local time, set the memory to 64K. On display, you want to choose ISA EGA, press configure, and you want to make sure it has 256K of memory and enhanced color enhanced mode. Then you want to go to input devices, set it to like the Microsoft serial mouse, make sure you get two buttons and some COM1. Go to sound, you don't need a sound card because like, um, you're probably not going to be, if you, you can't install, like, yeah, there's not many good sound cards you can get, you can install, like, a Sound Blaster 1.0, or an AdLib, something like that, but, uh, we're not going to install that, go to network, you're not going to need a network, because you can't network on this, ports, you're going to set generic ESC slash P dot matrix, because we're going to set up a printer, Set select storage controllers, do IBM PC fixed disk adapter, MFM. So and select internal controller and FD controller. Go to hardness and select MFM RLL. Go set the ID to 0 colon 0. Set the speed to um set the speed to RAM disk max speed. And then make the size of uh, 42 megabytes. Now select both of these as five and a quarter in 360k drives. You don't need a CD-ROM, and then you press OK. So now what you want to do is you want to click on View, click on a resizable window, scale that up. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to. So it's gonna say this. So you have to select the the MS DOS disk that you downloaded. So to do that, you have to right click on this and then press Existing Image. Select disk one and then press continue. So press the key to continue and it's going to reboot. Wait for it. Now it's going to load generic turbo XC BIOS. So press enter and then enter again. Now you have MS DOS. So you want to type F disk. So now you want to do what I say, okay? Press one, enter. Then press 1 again, enter, press Y, enter, now press enter again, and now it's going to reboot. So now press enter and enter again. Then you want to type C colon. So now you have a C drive. So you want to format it, so format C colon. Then you press Y, press enter, and then it's going to format the drive. Might take a little bit. Alright, so now done formatting. 
So you want to go to, so what you want to do is you want to copy, you want to press sys, and then type sys, and then c colon. System has been transferred. So now I want to type copy star dot star to c colon. Now you want to wait for it to copy everything to the c drive. So let's wait for it. Alright, so after that, what you want to do is you want to right click on the floppy disk drive. And then press existing image again and you want to select disk 2. So now you want to type dir and it should be a different, then it should have like these files. You want to copy star dot star, the c colon, press enter, and then wait for it. Alright, so now you've copied all of everything to see the c drive. You want to eject the floppy disk. You want to press this button right here next to the pause. You want to press the show this message again and press reset. Just wait for it to reset. At first, it might come up with like a system error, so just press the key and then reboot it. And then you boot into the hard disk. So press enter, enter, dir, and now you have all the files. Now, the sys command, what it did is it made the C drive bootable so we can boot it off of it. So now we want to in actually install Windows 1.0. So you want to right click on the floppy disk drive and press existing image. You want to select disk one of your Windows 1.0 um, images. And then press a, type a colon dir. And then you get all these files. You press type setup. Make sure you chose disk one, otherwise setup will not show up. So now you want to press C. You want to set up on a hard drive. C Windows, that's what we want to do, press enter, so C again, and you want to type 2 because we're using a serial mouse, and then we're going to do 6 EGA more than 64K RAM with enhanced color display, because we chose enhanced color display and more than 64K VRAM, so we for to copy the files, and press, press now you want to put the build disk inside drive a so disk 2 and then you want to press c make sure you've extracted all your windows 1.0 files make sure you've extracted everything and then just wait all right so now you have to put the utilities disk in which is disk 3 press c again now you want to keep on doing this for every single disk so it's going to come up with this. Would you like to set up a printer slash plotter? I would press Y. So now the, when we chose the generic ESCP dot matrix thing, it's going to emulate the Epson LQ2500. I think that's what the documentation said. But since this is from like 1985, we're going to have to do the LQ1500. So we're going to choose three. And then we chose the LPT1. So we're going to do LPT1. And then it's going to set up the printer, and then when you boot into Windows, you can set up the printer plotter. So we don't have another one, so I'm going to not. So now you have to put in disk, you have to put in disk 4, I think. Yeah, you have to put in disk 4. So press C. Now I have to put in the last disk, so. It's going to copy the files. The last disk is Microsoft Write, I think. Yeah, Microsoft Write for Windows. So, choose disk 5 and then press C, and then wait for it to copy the files to the hard drive. Now, Microsoft Windows is set up to operate on your computer. So now you can type DIR and you can view all the Windows files. So now all you have to type is WIN and press enter. So whenever you want to start up Windows, whenever you start up the system, you're going to be here, right? Whenever you start up the system, you type C Windows, then type Win. So, so just type Win, and then you in Microsoft Windows 1.0. You can move around the mouse and stuff, and here you are. You see, you have LQ1500.drv. So you can play like River C. It's, it's not slow. There's no, it's not read we dot dog. Wait for to This is very slow. This is 1985. Printing without the spooler. Uh, so yeah, so. 
the end is DOS executive. So you can play reverse E. Play reverse. I'm so, I'm I'm terrible at reverse E. Like I'm so bad at it. I don't have I have no idea how people play this. You do this. How do I? Okay, looks like I'm winning. I think I'm winning. Yeah, you think I'm winning? That's good. Yeah, I think I'm playing a game of reverse E. Uh, super fun. I'm losing really horribly right now, so <laughs> you know how that's gonna go. Um, just in case you want to test it out, the printer, you go to paint, and uh, just give me a sec to bring up the printer window. So, um, in uh. In 86 box, go to your 86 box executable folder, and there's gonna be a folder called printer. So you can't, can you? I'm not sure if you can see my mouse or not. There's gonna be a folder called printer, and inside that printer folder is gonna be where all your printed files are. So you can just draw, write some things, put some text here. This is Windows 1.0. Um, dash. The tutorial first. Thanks for watching. Let's do this. Let's just fill it up with a pattern. Make 3D shapes. It's not a very good app for drawing 3D shapes. Paint 3D was better in my opinion. <laughs> Do that and then do this. So yeah, this is not the best app, but like you draw patterns, I'm gonna palette patterns. You can do this uh, fire pattern, I guess. Do a brush and then you can draw the pattern. It's a little bit laggy. File. Print. And now you can print it. So now it's sending untitled to Spooler. Now, uh, you go over to the printer folder. Refresh. Just wait for it to... Print file. Printer was probably set up incorrectly. Because, like, it's not showing up. Yeah, it's not showing up. Oh, what? I think I think you finished. Oh, Alright, so it might take some time for the printer to bro, just print print. It's taking some time, man. Probably because it's a software from nineteen eighty-five. Makes sense that it's taking me twenty years. <laughs> Oh, I think it finished. Did it finish? Or is it like. Oh, wait. Did it, did it print it? Oh, no, I still didn't print Why is it not printing? It's not printed. Yeah, it works. I'm pretty sure it works. Terminate the existing print jobs. Maybe is that just the files on title? Yes. The paint 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 bro never mind cancel don't save it let's just go to Microsoft right and then print something that way go to write.exe it goes install the Windows 1.0 like SDK and write Windows 1.0 apps if you're a developer, thanks. Oh my god, just let me type, bro. Thanks. Thanks for. Oh my god! File. Fi file. New. 
Hi. Oh my god, what the hell? Why won't it let me type? Change printer, yeah. Print quality high. Character. Okay, yeah, this is not. Uh, this is but a different writing application. Is there a notepad here? Oh yeah, there's a notepad. I can write a notepad. Okay. No, can I type bro? Okay, yeah, this is actually getting crazy. Let me type, bro. Finally, okay, let me type. Thank you. Let's go back to Microsoft, right? Maybe what the what? Let me go back to Microsoft, right? I know why I was it wasn't working. Sometimes 86 blocks, what it does is like the Alt key gets stuck, and like it's like it thinks that you that you're holding down Alt. Yeah, there you go. So thanks for watching. It's, thanks for watching. See ya in another video, maybe series. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. Dash the multi. Not that's my old name. The tutorial verse. I'm changing it back to multiverse. It's, I'm changing my channel name back to multiverse. All right. So print it. Okay. Wait, is sending your document to the printer? Please, 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 please. please. Oh, something came up. Something came up. <gasps> there it is. There it is. You can print that on a real printer for some reason if you really want to. But there you go. So if you did, yeah, so there you go. I don't know why it doesn't work with paint, but whatever. It works. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. The Multivers. Look at all those beautiful pixels. Oh my god. I have to keep on doing this, otherwise it's gonna come off of like the anti-aliasing thingy. So that's cool. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.